Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As you can see we have the uh, Mustang up in the air. Uh, we had a trying day today. I'll get to that in another video, but uh, sometimes you break parts when you're modding. Sometimes you get broken parts to start with when you're modding and you don't realize it until you've torn the car apart and the part's broken and now you have to send it back. So that's where Kent and I are today. So we had a little bit of a day today, a little disappointed. We had hoped to bring you a video uh, on the Mustang a little sooner, hopefully uh, in the next couple of days, but that won't be happening because that part has to go back. But let's start this video. This video is a video that I had been thinking about doing for a while, the fuse pull on the Camaro. So I would really like my Camaro to be a lot louder than it is. Um, it's not loud enough for me right now. I do want to do a catback exhaust. Right now I'm thinking the Borla. I don't know if I want to do the S or the Attack. Um, hoping I get to hear somebody's in person. It's hard to know on YouTube. Is that the sound that you want? But right now I'm kind of leaning that way. But the price is it, its just too expensive for me at the moment. So I was thinking, let's pull that fuse and see if that gives me a little extra volume, a little extra sound, make the car sound a little bit more aggressive until I've saved enough money to be able to get an aftermarket exhaust. Does pulling the fuse really make a difference in terms of the sound and the volume that you get? Is it going to make your Camaro louder? Um, does it give you a better exhaust note? You know, those kinds of things. So I figured I'd take that video. I used a decibel meter and we ran some tests on it and you'll get to see those. So we did cold starts, warm starts, 25 mile an hour cruising, 50 mile an hour cruising, wide open throttle, and then I went through all the modes to see if the modes changed uh, volume wise and noise wise on the decibel meter. So you'll see all of those in the video to come. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you on the other side. So cold start, fuse in, sport mode. Let's see how loud it is. There it is. Cold start uh, with the fuse in. And we are going to do a cold start with the fuse pulled. So the fuse is not in. Let's start it up and see how it goes. Okay, so we're just driving out of the driveway. Again, we're in sport mode, the fuse is in, and we're just gonna drive around out of the neighborhood and capture how loud it is. And then we'll do the same thing with the fuse pull and see if it's louder. Alright, so that was through the neighborhood, you know, speeds in the low 20s. Let's take it and see what it looks like at uh, cruise control, about 50 miles an hour. Cruise is set, we're at 50 miles an hour. Let's see how loud it is. All right, so we're gonna just do a couple revs just to see like wide open throttle, what it sounds like. 
and then we'll check it against uh, same thing with the fuse bolt. All right, first rev. Now I'd expect it to be louder right now. Car went into performance shift mode, so it's holding the gear, which I can tell is louder. Yeah, it just shifted right then. All right, so second pull. So the car's warmed up. We'll do a warm start here, then uh, show you where the fuse is. It's fuse number 51. We'll pull that and we'll see if it makes this car any louder. I am betting the answer is no. All right, so the engine's warmed up. So let's just do a warm start. Uh, should be a little quieter uh, anyway from a cold start. And then we can compare that one as well. Here's a warm start. All right, that's the warm start. Let's uh, let's pull the fuse and see what it looks like. Okay, so we are gonna take uh, fuse number 51 out of the fuse box here. It's the front fuse box. So pull your pins. There's a pin on, on each side to get your fuse box released. There is actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's actually a layout of which fuses are which so that you make sure to get the fuse 51 out. I am going to look at this one and see. Huh? It's really dark. Oh. I don't know how. No, you can do that. Okay. Just going to make sure I know which one 51 is. There's a little fuse removal tool here. It kind of comes with any one. This is the fuse I think we want. Put it over the top. Pinch down on it, pull it out. So that is fuse 51 from the diagram. Uh, that should keep the flaps open all the time. Close this back up. Oh. <laughs> Put your fuse tool back so that you have it next time. There we go. I'll put this fuse in the glove compartment. Let's go try it out. Okay, so fuse 51 is pulled and we are doing a warm start again. And let's see how it compares. do a little driving around the neighborhood kind of the low 20 speed then we'll do a 50 and then we'll do a couple pulls and uh, see what we see let's go All right, so we're gonna go back to the fuses pulled. We're still in sport mode, and we are going to get up to 50 miles an hour, and then measure it with the fuse pulled at 50 miles an hour in cruise control. It's so almost there. All right, we're at 50. Okay, so we're idled right now with the fuse pull. Again, still in sport mode. I'll try the other modes in a minute, but uh, let's just keep it in sport mode for now. So here's the idle. I think the idle's louder, but I don't know. I'm trying to hope it's louder here, I guess. 
So let's go do the uh, two pulls uh, in sport mode again. And uh, we'll just do a couple hard pulls. And then see how those ones compare to doing the pulls with the fuse in. Okay, now we're going to run through the modes. I put the fuse back in to see what the modes sound like with a fuse back in, just so that I could capture that for you guys. So, so that's tour mode. That's sport. If you can't hear, I didn't see the decibels go up a lot but it is definitely a lower sounding noise. That's track mode. I wouldn't expect it to be any different than sport. Both flaps and the NPP should be open. That's snow and ice mode. Eh, so the decibels actually are different. So let's put it back in tour. Yeah, definitely quieter. All right, so definitely makes a difference. Uh, if you wanna drive around in tour for sure and ice mode, I don't know why you drive around in ice mode, but if you wanna drive around in tour and have the loudness of sport, definitely pull that fuse. So let's try drive modes and see now if the drive modes, at least from an idle perspective, sound any different. So I'm gonna switch through and I'll, I'll say which ones I'm in as we go. So right now we're in sport. This is track. This is snow ice. This is tour mode. All right, well, there definitely is no difference now in any of the modes. So the flaps are definitely open. I'm not sure if they're louder yet. I'll have to go to the video and check. Um, the gurgling to me seems new, um, but this, this definitely tour mode never was the same volume and sound as sport and neither was the snow ice. So definitely did something. We'll see if it's any louder. All right, so you just saw the video. Does the fuse pull make a big difference? No, not, not really, but that's okay. It makes a couple differences that I think is probably worth it and I'm definitely gonna just keep the fuse out so it's fuse 51 um, you'll see it in the video you'll see on that little diagram that it gives you on the back of the fuse box where 51 is and you can pull that one out I think it's alright so where does the fuse make a difference the fuse makes a difference if you drive around a lot in tour mode if you drive in tour mode and you would like it to be flaps open in tour mode so that you get the comfort, again, I guess this is really talking to the magnetic ride control owners, but if you wanna get that comfort with the 
NPP and have those both those flaps open and drive around in tour mode, then pull that fuse because then you're actually getting that volume that you want and that noise that you want of sport mode, yet you're getting the drive of tour mode. So that would definitely be one. I drive around in sport mode anyway, so that isn't a big one for me. Um, if you notice in the wide open throttle part of the video though, as you are mashing the gas and then letting off, there's a whole bunch of goodness in the crackling and popping that it does as you lift off the accelerator from you know wide open throttle. When the fuse is in, that crack and pop noise isn't there. And I love that noise. I just think that's such a cool muscle car noise, right? So that to me is a plus. That really almost by itself is the reason to pull that fuse. Otherwise, the biggest difference that you're going to hear from sport mode when you pull the fuse versus having the fuse in is at idle. The idle noise is um, louder. It's definitely deeper. It's like, you know, that baritone voice. You just get that when you pull it. So, small thing. I mean, is this going to make me think, oh gosh, who needs an exhaust or, or a louder noise in the Camaro? No, not even close. But, it's a nice thing. It's free, which is awesome way of modding. I love free mods. Uh, so you pull the fuse out and you're good to go. So would I do it? Yeah. Am I going to do it? Yeah. It's already out. I'm not putting it back in. Um, I guess it's a bonus for that tour mode and it's definitely a bonus for crackling sound that I love so much. So I didn't even know the car would do that. So getting that noise back, uh, it's freaking awesome for me. So you guys decide. It's no big deal, right? Take you maybe a second or two to pull it out. I did it right on the street. You know, you have a, a fuse puller that's right in the box and you're ready to go. Try it out, see if you like it. Hey, well, thank you so much for watching this video. A lot more videos to come. As Kent said, we have a ton of stuff sitting in the garage that we need to get to. Uh, today kind of set us back a bit given the uh, product didn't quite uh, perform as we had hoped. Hopefully we'll get that fixed soon, hopefully this week and then finish up the job that we have in the Mustang and move on to other videos that we want to make. So thanks again so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. We really appreciate it. We're almost at 500 subs. That's pretty crazy. So thank you. And um, we really, really do appreciate it. We love watching the subs go up and uh, love seeing new people ask questions and, and getting into cars and just exploring their car with us and seeing what we're doing with ours. But as always, keep modding.